multiplication of simple fractions and mixed fractions. After going through this module, you are expected to multiply simple fractions and mixed fractions. Multiplying fractions are just like multiplying numbers. To multiply fractions, we have three steps to follow. Step number one, multiply the numerators. Step number two, multiply the denominators. And step number three, if the answer is an improper fraction, change it to mixed number. And always reduce your answers to its lowest term. We have here example number one that shows us 3 fourths times 1 half. Step number one, multiply the numerator. So we are going to multiply 3 times 1. Step number two is to multiply the denominators. 4 times 2 is equals to 8. And the answer for 3 fourths times 1 half is equals to 3 eighths. Example number 2, 1 third times 3 seventh. So we are going to multiply the numerators, 1 times 3, the answer will be 3. Then multiply the denominators, 3 times 7, the answer is 21. Since we have a large fraction, so we can now reduce the fraction to its lowest terms. And to reduce the fraction to its lowest term, we need to divide both the numerator and the denominator with their greatest common factor, which is 3. So 3 divided by 3, the answer will be 1. And 21 divided by 3, the answer will be 7. Therefore, 1 third times 3 seventh, the answer will be 1 seventh. We can also use the cancellation method before multiplying the fractions so that the product is already in its lowest term. We can apply cancellation if there is a common factor in the numerator and the denominator. Just like for example number 1, we have 4 fifth times 10 11. In the cancellation method, we need to know the possible numerator and denominator to cancel. It can be 4 and 5, 10 and 11, 4 and 11, or 5 and 10. In this case, the pair of numerator and denominator with a common factor is 5 and 10, which is the first step to find the pair of numerator and denominator with a common factor. And their common factor is 5. Step 2 is to divide both the numerator and the denominator with the common factor. Which is 10 divided by 5. The answer will be 2. And 5 divided by 5. The answer will be 1. Step number 3 is to multiply the fractions by multiplying the numerator and multiplying its denominator. 4 times 2 equals 8 and 1 times 11 is equals to 11. Therefore, 4 fifth times 10 11 is equals to 8 11, which is already in its lowest term. Example number 2. 7 ninths times 1825. Step 1. To find the pair of numerator and denominator with a common factor. Step 2. Divide both by the common factor. Step 3, multiply the fractions. <music> Example number 3, 
Example number 3. 8.15 times 7.24 Aside from multiplying fractions by another fraction, we can also do the following. Multiplication of fraction by whole number. Multiplication of fraction by a mixed number. Multiplication of whole number by a mixed number. And multiplication of mixed number by another mixed number. Let's start with multiplication of fraction by whole number. Let's try 3 fifth times 8. Step number 1. Write a denominator 1 to whole number. This will make the whole number an improper fraction. Step number 2 is to multiply the fractions. Since our answer is an improper fraction, therefore we need to change it into a mixed number. You can watch the video about addition and subtraction of fractions where I showed on how to change improper to mixed number. And the answer for 3 fifth times 8 is 4 and 4 fifth. Multiplication of fraction by a mixed number. 5 6 times 3 and 1 half. Step number 1. Change mixed number to improper fraction. Step number 2 is to multiply the fractions. Step number 3 is to change improper fraction to mixed number. So that 5, 6, times 3 and 1 half is equals to 2 and 1 half. Multiplication of whole number by a mixed number. 6 times 1 and 5 12. First is to write a denominator 1 to whole number. Next is to change mixed number to improper fraction. Third is to multiply the fractions. Then change improper fraction to mixed number. Since we have an answer of 8 and 6 12, we can simplify the fraction if we need to simplify or reduce the fraction to its lowest term which is 8 and 1 half. 6 times 1 and 5 12 is equals to 8 and 1 half. We can also answer this through cancellation method.
multiplication of mixed number by another mixed number. 8 and 2 fifth times 18 and 1 third. Step number 1 is to change mixed numbers to improper fractions. Step 2, multiply the fractions. Step 3, change improper fraction to mixed number. And the answer will be 154. can also use cancellation method. In this example, we can cancel two pairs of numerator and denominator. Always remember that any fraction with a denominator of 1, it will be considered as a whole number just by removing the denominator 1. Aside from the symbol x, we can also use these two different symbols to indicate multiplication. We can also have multiplication phrases, which is times product of, multiplied by, and of. Instead of writing 1 half times 3 fourths, it could be written any of the following. The product of 1 half and 3 fourths, 1 half multiplied by 3 fourths, and 1 half of 3 fourths. We can also use the different symbols.